I've always wanted to play Super Mario RPG. Yeah, I grew up in the 90s, probably at what you would consider the perfect time to have been exposed to this game, but I never had a Super Nintendo. And my first Nintendo console was the N64, and I played plenty of Paper Mario, absolutely loved it and its sequels, but now I finally get the opportunity to play the game that started it all. Super Mario RPG. Choose a difficulty to start in. Breezy? Or normal? We're going normal. All right, I don't need my hand held except for, well, maybe a little bit, but I suppose we'll bridge that cross when we come to it. Goodness sakes, this looks beautiful. So this is the clip they used in the intro to it on the Nintendo Direct that announced it. And goodness gracious, did it get everyone freaking excited. Everyone except for Princess Peach right now, possibly, since she's uh, presumably going to get kidnapped for, I don't know, the 20th time. <laughs> oh, Bowser, nothing if not consistent. Mario exits Mario House, aptly named, of course. I, I don't know what else you would call it, but... but it's Bowser's Castle. I mean, given the fact that there are flags adorning the, uh, the exterior of it with his face printed on them, I would hazard a guess that yes, it is indeed his castle. So, the things that I know about this game are not necessarily plentiful. I do know that, it, obviously, as the name would imply, it's uh, an action adventure. No, I'm just kidding. It's a strategy. It's an RPG, right? It's a role-playing game, and it's turn-based too, which was always my favorite part of the Paper Mario games. Unfortunately, Super Paper Mario did away with that style of gameplay, and I let's played that earlier this year, so I'm excited to get back to some turn-based fights. Uh, we can jump. Uh, looks like Y brings up special moves. X brings up inventory. A does Jack Diddley squat. Neither do L, R, Z, L, Z, R, or the D-pad just does the exact same thing as the control stick. And these games probably meant to be played with the D-pad too, obviously coming from the Super Nintendo. But I'm curious how it's been remastered here for the Switch. If uh, I mean, I guess it does change the, the turning radius a little bit. Can we jump on these dudes and instigate a battle? Hmm? I mean, we instigated a battle here, but it doesn't look like we got anything for that. I know that in Paper Mario games, you could jump on the enemies and get a, uh, like a fast start, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You could start the battle off with a little bit of damage dealt. Maybe I just didn't do that properly. Ultimately, it doesn't seem like they're even aware of my existence. And Mario, being the hero that he is, sees a pair of innocent Koopas minding their own business tending to the halls, just patrolling, right? They're hourly workers, for goodness sakes, and they probably don't get paid enough. He says, all right, you gotta die. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. And now, it looks like the uprising has begun. They're pounding him in two. Or twos? And technically, they are not Koopas. They are Terrapins. Excuse me. I, uh, I, I apologize for mislabeling you. Thankfully, Mario's punch right to the sternum of the Terrapins enough to eliminate them. Right off the bat, it would seem Mario knows exactly where their heart is, stopping it in its tracks with one fell swoop of his Italian fist. So can we fight these dudes? Like, I don't know that I want to try and jump off into the lava. Odds are that that would not feel good. I mean, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about Mario in this version of this game, but I'd hazard a guess that lava would melt the flesh right off his body. And these spikes... Oh, we can't even exit the red carpet. Okay. We've got a throne. Princess Peach is being hung? Oh, no. Well, kind of in a way. I thought it was a little bit more gruesome than that. Goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, Bowser has her up there. Bowser enlisting, what, chain chomps to hold up the chandeliers? Don't let Bowser bruise you. Mario, prepare for the great beyond. So we're battling atop the chandeliers. We don't have any special moves. We have jump. Stomp foes. Press A just before the hit. It needs three flower points to do. Let's try that out. Uh, action commands are something that I did well at in Paper Mario. It would seem that, I, that does not carry over here just because probably, to give myself a little grace here, I'm not perfectly used to the timing, for lack of a better word. Uh, Mario jumping so high, obviously, uh, as he always has. Attack the chain, says the peach. Mario throws uh, some sort of invisible shuriken at it, damaging it by 10 twice over. Um, no, but Mario, always known for his impressive hops, right? The dude jumps higher than an NBA athlete. But in this game in particular, he, uh, he jumps right off the friggin' ceiling. 
And we were able to execute an action command there. Did you see that when Bowser attacked us? See, we can negate his damage. I'm trying to see if I can time it up for the chandelier as well, but I've got it relatively down pat for Bowser's big old claws. Can't seem for the life of me to execute it on any of the attacks, however. But we've got time to improve, by golly. This is episode one of what I assume will be like a 20 to 30 episode series? I suppose we'll see. Um, I looked at how long to beat.com for the Super Nintendo version, and it, it, it did lend itself to that guess. But who's to say what's changed in this game? You know what I'm saying? Like, while Super Mario RPG has been out essentially as long as I've been alive, I have avoided spoilers for it. <laughs> I mean, you can avoid spoilers for a 30-year-old game. That's amazing. But I just uh, know next to nothing about it beyond uh, how it should be played, which is turn-based, and... Of course, I do know Mario. All right, I'm a Nintendo fanboy, gosh darn it. It'd be sad if I didn't. Bowser seemed pretty sad there. And we are falling quite far. Goodness sakes. Oh, I'm getting kind of dizzy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to throw up, Bowser. What is going on here? Why? How did Mario jump so high? Again, he's just got an impressive amount of hops in this game. But we've saved the princess. Very early in the adventure. It would seem that, of course, as you might imagine, not all is, is right in the world. Undoubtedly, Princess Peach is going to get captured once more and we'll have to rescue her. But I don't know if Bowser's even the primary antagonist in this game. Uh, in Paper Mario games, that is not always the case. You know what I'm saying? In fact, in Super Paper Mario, Bowser's straight up on your team. And in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, you fight someone else entirely while also playing as Bowser in specific instances of the game. Paper Mario, yeah, Bowser's the baddie. Most Mario games, yeah, Bowser's the baddie. It would seem here, unless Bowser is influencing some ginormous friggin' broadsword in some capacity, might not be the baddie. Might not be the baddie. So that's the title screen. And I think this is closer in line with what the American box art for the Super Nintendo cartridge looked like. Uh, the Japanese version, as well as the Nintendo Switch remaster, went with the minimalist white background behind the characters, which I appreciate. I know that not everyone was into that, so to speak, but I, I think it's quite nice, if I do say so myself. Mario, uh, luckily enough, flies straight into the warp pipe, gets himself hung on the friggin' hook. Hey, Mario, lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their house. Anyway, I came by to pick up Princess Peach, since she's a bit late. He just knew Peach would be staying over here at Mario's bachelor pad. What's up? What do we got in here? We got a sweet little little lamp. Oh, we can shut it off and pass out. <laughs> Mario's like, I had enough, all right? I'm taking a nap here sideways. He's a very active sleeper, would seem. He passes out sideways on the bed, wakes up somehow inside the covers. So that's how you sleep, by looking at that. Uh, you can look in the chest. The storage box is housing nothing at all. Presumably, we'll acquire items to throw inside of it. But it doesn't look like there's actually anything else that we can get into here, so let's get out. Side. Mario's got a tanker of friggin' oil. Goodness sakes, man. Right next to your house? That's gonna catch fire. You're gonna kill yourself. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario. Where is she? Oh, Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's a Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Sure. I, I think that's agreeable enough. Mario, I forgot something important. If you get knocked out, you'll wake up at the last place you saved. Well, guess what? On this adventure, you'll save automatically whenever you go between areas. It'll save all the time. So if worse comes to worse, you won't lose too much progress. Am I right? Very nice. So this is a save block, which is what uh, we are learning here in this brief little tutorial. Good to know. Toad, my boy, I appreciate that. So we got to jump on it, I guess. Boom, shock, a lock, a save. Level one. We got 20 HP, 10 FP. No Amphibian frog coins, not sure what that is, and four regular coins. Mario's poor! All right, let's go find the princess. Hopefully, probably not soon, but let's get started on the quest to do exactly that. Presumably, after being... Gr oh, wow. Mario and Bowser are neighbors. We can't go to the right. The game's like, you, you go straight to the castle. Get there. Well, this is going to help us uh, examine what that broadsword is. The broadsword looks like it's straight out of Banjo-Kazooie having eyes at everything. Which I particularly enjoy. Look down here, dude. What you doing? You know, do you talk? Or are you just a, 
visual learner. Halt. Who goes there? A trespasser? This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. We have big plans, and this is the first step in them. We practically own this world. <laughs> so, let's see you deal with this! Oh god, I've been eating burritos all morning, and it's going to ruin your tear ducts. <laughs> oh, and I'm also destroying the bridge, too. That may be also somewhat uh, a hindrance, if you will. Okay, yeah, so we are uh, prohibited now from accessing Bowser's Keep, which is uh, slightly inconsiderate of the Smithy Gang. I don't know who they are or what their goals are. Uh, they mentioned something about ruling the world, but goodness gracious, you know, you probably find an easier route to ruling the world if, I don't know, you just ran for president. Apparently anyone can do it. Uh, Mario's Pad seems to be the only option we now have. Toad's not here anymore? Well, no, hold on. Let's go back out. Can we go back left, like, to the grounds of the castle? Or that, that cliff there where it kicked us out? Yeah, we can go to Vista Hill. Okay. I, I appreciate how it, it gives you this, like, overworld sort of experience. Uh, Vista Hill... ...has nothing? Yeah, Vista Hill kicked us right out. Interesting. Okay, well, we have to go back to Mario's pad. <laughs> He's pad. Uh, is, is Toad in here eating all of our food? Oh, Toad, how rude of you. Get back so soon. Did you forget something? No? What happened? I got on the table, and and then I walked over, and I looked up, and then I, I floated, and I got on the table. Mario, what are you doing? This, you're insane. The Prince of Bowser's Keep is out now. You're just wonderful. We must inform the Chancellor of the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. The Chancellor, you say, not not the King? Where's Peach's parents? The, the, ow! What are you doing, man? Well, excuse me. No, oh, that bump on your head reduced your HP. One of the Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you right up. Got a mushroom. Thank you. So press X to use the item, as we briefly came to understand inside of Bowser's Keep. Oh, he brought a Goomba! I remember I came to warn you that Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters! I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please kill everyone. Thank you. You know about action commands? I do, but I'm gonna say no just so that he can... Oh, no, he's gonna give me a straight-up tutorial. Never mind. Uh, I, I, I do understand the concept behind action commands, so we need to press A when we need to. It's giving us a percentage in the bottom left. Is that a percent of the time that we do successfully execute it? Or at the, um, it says three percent. What is that? When successful, your damage increases. Um, I wonder if we like build up a special or something. Small boost, two chain. Interesting. And it, and it boosted it again to, to six. Now try a special move by pressing Y. So, it still is not Toad. I'd very much like it if you'd explain this percentage in the bottom left for me. <laughs> that gave us even more. The special gave us 4%, whereas the defend and the regular attack gave us 3%. So, it would seem that we stand to benefit a little bit more from that. But still, by the way, okay. Each time you nail an action command, this action gauge fills up. But the action gauge reaches 100%. Did your enemies better watch out? Let's look forward to that. I'm not going to tell you what it does, but it's going to be exciting, all right? You're going to pee everywhere. It's going to be immaculate. Okay, well, so the action it's going to fill faster. There's power wells inside. And... There we go. We can press help if we ever need anything more in the way of tutorial. Very good. Thank you, Toad. I appreciate you and all six of your inches. Uh, you're looking shorter and stubbier than I remember in other games, but hey. I had something to tell you. That's right. We need to tell the Chancellor about Peach. I'll see you there. Wait, I thought you were going to hang out with us because the, the Mushroom Way is infested with demons. What is the meaning of this? Toad's in with the demons. Toad laid the traps. Toad told the Goombas to lie in wait for the Italian plumber. It would seem that Toad is perhaps not as benevolent as we all want to think. It's interesting to me that the overworld does not... Like, the enemies on the overworld are not concerned with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they... They, they just roam. I mean, it, probably it's because it's an older game, right? And they didn't, like, develop that part of it until Paper Mario. But still, uh, it... I don't necessarily know if it's a bad thing. Look, there's Toad. He's having an inappropriate exchange with the Goomba. Toad, that's disgusting. What are you doing over there? You got to be kind, my friend. There's no need for violence 
Unless, of course, your name is Mario, and then that's practically your whole thing, right? Mario knows nothing but coin accumulation and violence. Goodness sakes, he's like a capitalist. It's amazing. So, we could theoretically avoid any fight that we wanted to, given the fact that the enemies on the overworld seem largely unconcerned with our presence. But I don't want to do that, right? Because, well, I'm not necessarily concerned with being under-leveled. In games like this, they tend to... Oh, look at that. HP max. That was neat. That Goomba had a big old sack of food inside of his body. Mario ate it right out of his belly. It's a little disgusting. You'd think he'd want to cook it first, but Mario, he's got the immune system of a friggin' ox. Anyways, uh... Uh, power creep, right? If we if we kill every enemy we see, undoubtedly we will become OP, but I, I, I still need to figure out where the line is, right? What is the proper amount of battles to take part in to, I guess, progress the game in a... I don't know about quick fashion, but in, like, the right capacity. We gotta... Oh, we got coins. Let me just extract some money here. You guys don't need it, right? We'll touch you, too, so that we can fight our first Paracoopa. Paratroopa Toopa. Who's the Poopa? It's you. Oh, we only did four damage for that? He did four in return. Maybe we should jump on him. Let's do that. Mm. Weakness. Ah, so we're learning things. Some elements are especially effective against certain monsters. You can deal big damage by taking advantage of these weaknesses. Okay. And we leveled up as a result, which gave us a mushroom. So do we get to choose between HP and, and FP, like in Paper Mario? No, it just boosts a lot of things for us. Max HP goes up 5, attack up 3, defense from nothing at all to 2. Magic attack also goes back up 2, as well as the defense for that as well. Very interesting! Magic attack and defense. And then we do get a choice between physical, so we can boost our attack and defense a little bit more, our HP a little bit more, or our magic. Okay, so I, I call it FP, flower points, because it is a flower. Gosh darn it, and that's what it was called in Paper Mario. I am going to just go physical. Because I think that, at least for the time being, and I, I suppose time will tell if I am correct, I think for the time being, we're going to want to rely on those maneuvers a little bit more frequently than the special attacks. Of course, unless we start to come across a bunch of troopas like this, we're going to be burning through our flower points uh, at an alarming rate. But I do think that we are going to want to have physical defense probably more than magic defense. So I think that was the right call to make, ultimately. My fingers, my toes, my eyeballs are crossed in hopes that I'm correct. All right, Toad, we uh, we have become your hero once more. Maybe don't go running off into the wilderness alone, huh? My life was flashing before my eyes for a second there. Here's a little something in return. Got a honey syrup. This Toad's just chock full of foods, mushrooms and honey. Oh, my. You got a, I don't know, you got a loaf of bread in there? That'd be a, that'd be kind of nasty, Ashu. <laughs> I want a mushroom and honey sandwich. Mmm. Don't give me a stomachache. Uh, I did not mean to go back that way. So there's a Goomba lurking right here. Oh, he rushed me! You stinker! What are you thinking? You're gonna get punched right in the nose and then what? You and your friend here are dead? Is this really the most beneficial course of action you could have imagined? I think not! Buddy, I think not. Now what is over here, though? You got a flower tab. Flower items will permanently increase your max FP. So, FP and magic. It's been called both things and we're in the first, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> Letting you use more specials. These are super important, so don't forget them. Cool. How do we get up there? There's, there's a chest that I'd very much uh, have an interest in acquiring. Uh, presumably that Goomba who is dancing oh so provocatively upon the flower will help us find our way up there. We have no more flower points, or at least not enough to do that, so we're going to have to punch this Koopa right out of the sky. We were able to chain together our third action command successfully, dealing enough damage to fell the beast. Now, what do you do? You little flower? Nothing at all. This one's different colored, though, so I'm going to touch this guy. And presumably, the different color in it is going to give us a good... Hopefully, uh, it's going to propel us upwards. We're getting a lot of these items from the Goombas as well. The, whatever they are, I'm not certain. The purple thing? They're doing, ooh! Ooh, he spat at me! I've never seen a Goomba do that! That was gross! I don't even know what it was! It looked like a, like, so, like I don't know, like some sort of toothpick. Gosh darn it, Toad! Toad's getting drug around by his friggin' head. Did you see that? The, the paratroopa has him by the, by the poopa? 
Goodness gracious, we'll save you, Toad! Getting into all sorts of nasty business, man. You really need to just, like, hang out with Mario. To be honest with you, you're getting yourself involved in far too many tussles for someone of your relatively small and innocent stature. Goodness shakes. We've saved him once more, twice in the last, like, three minutes. Boy, that was a close call. Here's a flower tab. See you later. I'm gonna go get assaulted again. Great job, Toad. Great job. You just, you know, whatever. He's, he's confident at the very least, so give him that. Oh, my timing. How heinous. Oh, my timing. How heinous. Awesome. Look at that. First try. Oh, you try and jump on me? You gross boy? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you right now, okay? You try to jump on strangers? That is illegal. It's been explicitly banned by the princess, all right? Don't you read the local legislation. Princess Peach has forbade the assault of the plumbers, all right? We blue-collar workers have had enough of your shenanigans, you demons. Chichamongus, our gauge reaches nearly 50%, too. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen there. It's probably what's... I don't know if uh, completely convincing me to uh, to continue to fight these dudes, but it's definitely feeding into that. You know what I'm saying? Number one, I really do just want to kind of level if I could, right? I mean, that's kind of the whole point between an R or behind an RPG is to uh, well to gain the requisite level so that you can overcome the challenges to come, presumably without becoming too horrendously OP, which I don't think is going to be the case, at least not anytime soon. Oh, it's a Lakitu. What's up, dude? Trying to throw some... Oh, God, you gonna make it rain. You're making it rain. Are these your babies? I don't think I can jump on them. Spocky boy, but we can punch them right in the face. Ooh, they got the HP. Oh, they got the HP. Dude, do you see that? He survived my punch. I have not yet seen anyone do that. Didn't survive the second one, though, which is great. He's spitting the same gosh darn toothpick that the Goomba had. Sick boy. Bunch of disgusting nasties. Uh, we are a little bit hurting in terms of, uh, HP, so we might consider sucking down a mushroom here. Oh god, there's a lot of these dudes. Can I kill you? You keep, like, dropping enemies everywhere. And I don't necessarily know if we can get up there. If we could get on one of these hills, presumably we could, but I'm just gonna get involved in a couple more tussles. Paracoupa and a spiky. Let's get rid of the spiky first, if we could. Perfect. Alright, so if we, if we get the action command, we can. And look at this! We are able to attack twice in a row? Heck yeah! I'll take that, and we got a mushroom as well. Let's eat one of them. We have seven. It recovers 30? Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. I don't want to waste it. It hurt me a little bit more before I decide to get on my Fungus Fest 2023. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, we don't want it. Oh, we chained together five. Can we get six? Ha-ha! Six, and the red aura of the chain. Well, I guess it's more burnt orange than anything, but... The color has changed nonetheless, which makes me feel pretty accomplished, all right? I'm getting these action commands down. Lucky number seven. Lucky number eight. Lucky number nine. Ha-ha! <laughs> Eliminate it. So why did... Ah, it's hard for me to time that one. That one did four. Goodness sakes. Some of these action commands are doing less damage than others. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we hit these dudes and did a 26 in the last fight. Perhaps uh, not every enemy of the same type has the exact same stats. I guess that would make some semblance of sense. I would have expected them all, whatever, like say these guys have a defense of two, you know, each. Ooh, ooh, okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna wait any longer, all right? It's fungus time. <laughs> Eat up, Mario. Mmm, got a freebie. What was that? Like a free mushroom? We did? Wild! So apparently at random intervals, for, you could just use an item and have it not count. This is awesome! <laughs> oh, I am already having the time of my life, and the game just continues to throw awesome things at me. We've got to 100%. Don't use whatever that is now. Save that. Can we save that? Do we get to dictate what when we use the 100%, whatever that is? I hope so. Oh, look at this perfect timing, because we got a big hammer, bro. Hey, are you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. My hammer's name... It's Harriet. All right, she's very picky. Don't! Mario, I, I said my name first. You better be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. I think he's just mean in general. No, you got my hammer angry. Harriet says that you need to say sorry. I'll say sorry to Harriet after I... Oh, you got a twin. So gauge move. What does this do? Toad assist. Toads come running to support you. Who knows what you might get? Sure. Let's see what we got. Oh, we get a random item. We got a, a star candy? Star gust. Ooh. 37 each, very nice. 
No, thank you. All right, it's very rude. Mario is not equipped with a weapon. This is this is heinous. These guys pop out of nowhere, smacking him over the head with a hammer like some sort of friggin' hooligan. I'm disappointed. I thought you were raised better, Hammer Bros. Where's the Hammer Mama and the Hammer Papa? Valor has risen. Presumably that means attack? Let's punch him. Naughty had enough to kill him. That might have been defense. No, it's not attack. So I think it was defense because the attack did the exact same. We're only doing 10. I dealt with them pretty quickly. I think they were essentially the first boss. The Hammer Bros? I said Hammer Nose. Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. <laughs> Your Mushroom Kingdom is just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where did this hammer come from? It says Harriet? You know what this is? This is a hammer. It has a hammer rose insignia on it. No one stands a chance against you when you whomp them with this. You never know. It might come in handy. You might need to smack someone up the head or, hey, repair a veranda. With the Grandpa Goomba. Picked up a hammer. Very good. So, yeah, Mario RPG seems to uh, uh, apply the same train of thought that Paper Mario and Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door did that hammer. Good. Can we use the hammer in the overworld? Can we use the hammer? No, the hammer is like a key item, it would seem. Journal. Monster list. I was originally coming in here to look at the hammer, but... Oh! We have a compendium! Look at this. There's even information on them. It doesn't yet tell us everything about them. Bowser's got a crap ton of HP. The chandelier is registered as an enemy. <laughs> He's like, man, I just work here, all right? Yeah. Uh, I wonder... So, weak element, weak status, drops, rare drops are all... Un so, yeah, I would say it probably waits until you figure it out, right? Like, we discovered the paratrooper was weak to our big Italian feet, so therefore it, you know, signifies as such. And we've killed one and had it dropped a mushroom, so there we go. Don't know what the rare drop is, though. Interesting. Flower jar is dropped by the hammer, bro. So there is some semblance of incentive to, I guess, slaughter everything you can find and do it over and over again because rare drops are not things that are going to happen every single time. Obviously so. And look at this. We can see what we learn at different levels. We're level two, so next level we'll learn another move. Oh, I'm so excited to see. Goodness gracious. Let's carry on, shall we? Unfortunately, we're going to learn that move next time. So, thank you so very much for watching. I sincerely do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, I'll be posting daily episodes of this complete playthrough, every single second of it unedited, and I hope I see you again tomorrow.